Go High Level has a ton of different features, but one of the most important ones for social media marketing agencies is the social planner. The problem is most people either think it's basic or just don't really know how to use it. And that's exactly what could be costing you time, money, and effort every single week. I've been using Go High Level for years to manage over 300 client accounts, and the social planner has become one of the tools that has completely changed how we run our agency. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use the social planner the right way so you can plan, schedule, and automate content for all your clients in one place. But first, what makes Go High Level Social Planner so special? Well, let's start with the basics. The social planner is a content scheduling tool that lets you post across all your social platforms from one dashboard. For small business owners, this is another convenient feature placed inside of High Level's operating system, allowing you to manage your marketing from one central location. But for agencies, it's a total game changer because unlike other schedulers that charge per account or per brand, Go High Level gives you unlimited posting across unlimited clients. That makes it insanely affordable to scale because you can manage hundreds of clients from one place without paying more for each one. Plus, it's insanely powerful and easily one of the most overlooked features inside Go High Level. Let me show you how it works. All right, so when you first log into your sub account in Go High Level, you just want to go over to the left hand side and click where it says marketing. By the way, if you want to follow along, I'll leave a special link in the description for you to sign up. If you use my link, you'll get the first 30 days for free instead of the 14 days on their website. That means you can build a 30 day social media calendar for free. Now, when you first go to marketing, you will be asked to connect your accounts. You'll see a bunch of different options here. Now, once you're fully in, you've got planner, content, comments, statistics and social listening. And we will go over each one of them one by one, starting with number one planner. Here you'll see some simple filters up top. You can choose what time range you want to view and switch between a calendar or a list view. And this is actually really useful, especially when you're handling a lot of different clients, because it helps you see exactly what's scheduled, what's already been posted and what still needs to go out. OK, now let's dive a bit deeper into the post section. Before we move on, you've probably noticed that what you're watching right now isn't actually me in front of the camera. This is an AI clone. The real me is out there working with clients and grinding with the team. So this version's here to walk you through everything step by step and give you as much value as possible. Everything you're learning here comes straight from real experience and what's actually working inside a seven figure agency. All right, let's move on. So as you can see, when I click on new post, I can choose between a couple of different options. You've got the create new posts, which opens up like a regular post where I can select different accounts. What's also really cool and something I've been using a lot recently is the AI option. So if I click on the little AI icon and then hit generate with AI, I can connect my brand voice. That means the system already knows what my business is about and writes to match my brand automatically. Now, if I scroll down to the section where it says, what do you want to share with your Facebook audience? I can type new video on my channel. Then under the next field where it asks what I want to achieve, I will put getting people from Facebook to watch my YouTube video. Once that's filled out, I can choose how many caption variations I want. And then when I click generate, you'll see it creates several really well written captions that are made to the exact action I want in this case. Now, besides using AI, you can also post manually. If I upload an image, you'll see the preview show up on the right hand side. If I select two or more accounts, I can actually adjust each post preview so it looks right for each platform. You can also choose whether you want it to post as a reel, a story or a feed post. Now, when I click on a post, I can choose between four options and all of them are super useful. You've got post now, which basically sends your post out immediately to all of the social media accounts you've already connected. So if you just want to get something live right away, that's the one you'll use. Then you have a schedule post, which lets you set a specific time for your post to go out. This is great if you like to batch your content. You can literally just upload a ton of posts for yourself or your clients, schedule them all at once, and then not have to think about it again. Next up is send for approval. And this is especially helpful if you're working inside an agency or you've got someone else handling the marketing side of things. I'll show you exactly where those appear in just a second. And finally, there's recurring posts. This one's really handy if you've got something that needs to go out regularly, like a monthly reminder or a repeating announcement. For example, if you want a post to go out on the first of every month, you can set it up here once and it'll automatically post every single month without you having to touch it again. So that's the main new social post section. And honestly, this is where I spend most of my time inside the planner. Then right below that, you've got the CSV upload option, which is great if you're moving content from another scheduling tool. You can just upload your CSV file and go high level will automatically format everything for you. Now, one more really cool thing here is the content AI section. So if I, for example, select Facebook and then hit next, it basically works the same way as the caption AI, but it goes one step further. Instead of just generating captions, it'll expand everything into a full standalone post. That's really helpful if you're short on time. Then you've got RSS posts, and this is a super useful feature, especially for agency owners or clients who want to share regular content without constantly writing new stuff. So 
as you can see, I've got this RSS link from a news channel I follow. The only important thing here is that you make sure the URL you paste in is actually an RSS link. Otherwise, it won't work. After that, I just select which social accounts I want it to post to, usually leave everything else as it is, and set it to post once a day. Once that's done, Go High Level automatically pulls content from that RSS source and turns it into posts for you, completely automated. It's a great way to keep your clients' pages active and constantly sharing fresh, relevant stuff without you having to touch it every day. Next is post reviews, and this one's especially good for clients who get a lot of customer feedback. It basically lets you pull reviews directly from Facebook or Google and turn them into posts. You can pick which social platform you want them to go to, automate everything, and once you hit next, you'll be able to choose a background style and preview how it's going to look. It's a super nice way to mix in social proof into your content calendar and stay top of mind with your audience. Okay, next, I wanna show you how to create some simple automations that work really well with the Social Planner feature. But before we jump into that, let's just quickly finish going over number two, the tools inside the Social Planner. So at the top, you've got the content section. This is where everything you've added shows up. All you've imported through your CSV, your recurring posts, reviews, RSS posts, templates, anything that's waiting for approval, and even your category queue. Next, you've got the comments tab. This is where you can see and manage all the comments coming in from your connected social accounts. It's nice because you don't have to jump between different platforms to reply. It's all right here, which saves a ton of time if you're managing multiple pages. Then we've got the statistics tab. It's basically a central hub for all your social media analytics, and it's way better than the built-in analytics you get on platforms like Instagram or Facebook. Here, you can see how every account is performing, whether that's your own or your clients, all in one place. After that, you have social listening. This one's kind of like a discovery hub. It's where you can check out trending sounds on TikTok, keywords on Pinterest, and even trends on Google. It's actually a really useful tool for staying up to date and finding content ideas for your clients. All right, now that we've covered all that, let's actually jump into what makes this super powerful, number three, social media automations. So for this part, we're gonna jump over to the automation section on the left side right here. Once you're there, you just wanna create a new workflow from scratch. When you do that, you'll see this new window pop up that kind of looks like a Miro board. And at first glance, it might seem a bit complicated, but trust me, it's actually really simple to use. For this example, I wanna show you one of the most useful automations you can set up for Instagram, the auto DM after a comment automation. This one is perfect if you're running lead magnets, giveaways, discounts, or really anything where you want people to comment and then automatically get a message from you. So first thing, click on add new trigger. Triggers are what start your workflow. Every automation needs something that tells it when to begin. For this one, we'll search for comment. And as you can see, it shows up right here. You can choose either Facebook or Instagram. Let's imagine that we've got a post going out on Instagram. Now for the keyword, I'll type something like fire. So I'll just select exact match, type in fire and click save trigger. Once that's done, we'll click the little plus icon down here at the bottom and then search for DM. So for Instagram, we'll select send Instagram DM. And this is where we can write something like, hey, here's your resource, thanks for commenting. You can attach your file, drop in a link, or even paste the resource directly into the message. After that, click save action. At this point, the workflow is already super useful because now it will automatically send DMs to everyone who comments with your keyword. But let's take it a step further by adding an AI bot that can actually start booking appointments for you completely automatically. To do that, just click on the plus button again and search for AI. You'll see it come up as appointment booking conversation AI bot. Click that. When it opens up, you'll see a bunch of different settings. For the action name, you can just leave it as it is. Then select the calendar where you want the appointments to be booked. I have a bunch of them here, so I'll just pick one randomly for this example. Next, you'll see a field for personality. This part is actually really cool. You can create this easily using chat GPT. Just ask ChatGPT to create a short personality description for your AI bot based on how you want it to talk, and it'll generate that for you. I already have one written out here. Then you'll see the section for additional instructions. You can also use ChatGPT to help you write this. Next, you've got the maximum messages field. I usually leave this between 10 and 20. Then you've got the timeout value. This is how long the bot will wait for a reply before it stops the conversation. I find 48 hours works really well. It gives people enough time to respond without dragging things out. After that, you'll select the channel you want the bot to use. I'm gonna go with Instagram for this example, but you can also set it up for SMS, WhatsApp, or Facebook, depending on where you post. Then you'll see response delay, which is how quickly the bot replies after the user's message. I usually leave it at around two minutes. Finally, you've got the branches. The main one you'll wanna pay attention to here is the appointment was booked branch. From there, you can add an action to tag the contact, maybe something like appointment booked, or you can set it to add a task, which will automatically assign that new booking to whoever on your team handles calls. And that's pretty much it. 
Once you click save, this workflow is live and you now have a fully automated appointment setting system running inside your DMs. It's literally out there messaging people, setting calls and generating appointments for you or your clients all on autopilot. All right, so now you've got everything you need to know about the Go High Level Social Planner, plus one of the most powerful automations for generating appointments completely on autopilot. But the next step is learning how to actually make money with it because the tool alone won't pay you knowing how to sell, how to find clients, and how to package it into an offer. In the next video, I'll show you exactly how to set up a simple social media system that gets real paying clients. Click here or check the link in the description.